In this episode of Doing It Differently, Ron is going to teach you some tricks with sticks. If you were asked to multiply two numbers together, for example, 123 and 31, and did not have access to a computer, smartphone, calculator, or your fingers or toes, how would you start? You may think back to the fourth grade and remember that there was a process called long multiplication. Setting up your numbers like this and starting with the one, wait, what just happened? I forgot to mention, you don't have paper or pencils either. So now what? Well, you don't need numbers. An ancient method of multiplying involved using sticks to represent each digit in a number. Let's see how it works. If we start with the number 123 and use one stick for the first digit, two for the second, and three for the last, we can represent 123 like this. Then, to multiply 123 by 31, we would lay down three sticks here and one stick here. Now we can simply count to find our answer. Imagine this pile of sticks divided into four groups. Let's count the number of times the sticks cross one another in each group. In that first group, we can count that there are three crosses. The next two groups have 11 and 7, and the last has 3 again. We can't have any two-digit numbers at this point, so let's carry this one to the left. After doing so, we get a final answer of 3,813. Check it for yourself. Hey look, a calculator. Yes, you can use a calculator now. I'll wait. This method will work for all numbers, although throwing the digit zero into the mix complicates things. First try it a few times yourself with numbers that do not contain the digit zero, and then see if you can figure out what to do from there. As always, never forget to think outside the box. Mathematics is a field rich with history and cultural significance. This is sometimes forgotten, but just like everything else, math has and is evolving with new ideas every day as technologies improve from sticks and pebbles to the calculators we have today. That's all for now. Stay tuned for a sneak preview of our next episode, where Ron will count to infinity. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.